In today's funny story joke, we've got a teenage romance so tangled, it makes a soap opera look like a simple sitcom. Picture a dad who thinks every crush is secretly related, a son whose love life is a sitcom plot, and a dating scene more complicated than your last tech problem. Get ready to laugh out loud as we untangle this hilariously mixed up love saga. Once upon a time in the cozy confines of suburban bliss, there was a family living a relatively uneventful life until the day young Danny burst into the living room, his heart pounding with an enthusiasm that would put even the most animated tap dancer to shame. Dad, Dad, you won't believe it. I'm head over heels in love. Danny practically shouted, his eyes sparkling like fireworks. He practically danced around the living room, each step full of joy and maybe just a hint of clumsiness. His father, Mr. Thompson, looked up from his newspaper with a bemused smile. Oh, really, Danny? That's fantastic. Who's the lucky girl who's captured your heart? Danny's face glowed with a mixture of excitement and a sort of jittery nervousness. It's Emma. Mr. Thompson's eyes widened so much they could have been cartoon eyes. Emma? Emma, isn't she? Danny, who was practically vibrating with energy, eagerly interrupted. The neighbor's daughter. Yes. Isn't she amazing? I keep tripping over my own feet every time I see her. Mr. Thompson's face shifted from curiosity to alarm, his eyebrows shooting up as if he had just seen a ghost. Oh no, Danny, you can't date Emma. Danny's face fell, his smile wilting like a flower in the desert. Why not, Dad? Mr. Thompson took a deep breath and leaned in as if revealing top secret information. Well, son, Emma might be your sister. Danny's jaw dropped, his eyes as wide as saucers. What? But Dad, we've known her for years. How could she be my sister? Mr. Thompson glanced around as if checking for eavesdroppers and whispered, Just don't tell your mother. Danny, disheartened and thoroughly confused, shuffled out of the room, his head hanging low. He trudged back to his room, wondering if maybe Cupid had lost his aim somewhere between the bow and arrow. Two weeks later, Danny's enthusiasm was undeterred. He bounded into the living room again, looking as though he had just discovered the meaning of life, or at least the next big thing in his romantic journey. Dad, guess what? Cupid struck again! Danny declared, eyes shimmering with the kind of innocent hope that only a teenager can muster. This time it's Jennifer. Mr. Thompson's face fell into a look of exaggerated dread. Jennifer. Oh no, Danny. I would stay away from her too. Danny's face went pale. Why, Dad, what's wrong with Jennifer? Mr. Thompson sighed heavily, as if the weight of the world were on his shoulders. She might also be your sister. Danny's shoulders slumped with a profound sense of defeat. Seriously, what are the odds? With a weary shake of his head, Danny trudged away, leaving his father to mutter under his breath. Maybe Cupid needs an optometrist. The days turned into weeks, and Danny's quest for love became a running joke in the household. Each new crush seemed to meet the same unfortunate fate. No matter who Danny fell for, his father always had the same grim prediction. She might be your sister, Mr. Thompson would say, with the same resigned tone as if he had prepared himself for the inevitable letdown. Danny began to question whether his father had some sort of secret family tree knowledge or if he was just playing an elaborate prank. The revolving door of potential romantic interests seemed to have a common denominator. They were all apparently related to him. Finally, Danny reached his limit. In a last-ditch effort to end this bizarre streak of familial faux pas, he decided to have a heart-to-heart -heart with his mother. He approached her with a serious look on his face, as though he were about to reveal the deepest of secrets. Mom, I need to talk to you, Danny said, taking a deep breath. I've been trying to find the love of my life, but every time I tell Dad about a new girl, he says she might be my sister. This is ridiculous. I'm starting to think I should carry a family tree flow chart on first dates. His mother, who was knitting in her favorite armchair, looked up with a knowing smile. Oh, Danny, she said soothingly. I understand. Your dad's been making this harder than it needs to be. 
Danny's eyes widened with hope. So you think he's wrong? His mother's smile broadened, and she leaned in as though sharing the most confidential of confidences. Actually, Danny, I wouldn't worry if I were you, because what your dad doesn't know is that he's not your real father either. <laughs> If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.